This video is brought to you with Car Vertical. If you're buying your next car, make sure you use Car Vertical by typing in your registration plate on the site. It will bring up all sorts of hidden nasties like accident damage, outstanding finance, outstanding recalls, mileage discrepancies, and a whole host more. So before you buy your next car, check it out first on Car Vertical and use my code TGE to save yourself some money. Hello, hello, welcome back to TGTV and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Mercedes SLS AMG. Now we've got a lot to cover in this video. We've got some new house chat, we've got some garage update chat, we've got some moaning to do with this car. So we're gonna crack on and get into it and get into all sorts of updates to do with my life and why I've been, again, a little bit quieter on YouTube. So, first things first then, I might crack on with a little moan about this car. Some of you remember that I actually took this to Mercedes-Benz Chelsea not so long ago uh, for a routine service to get the grill repaired uh, and also to get a gearbox software update as well. So the gearbox software never actually ended up getting done. Um, they ignored the job, I think three times in the end. Um, so I've given up with asking them to do it. Uh, I don't think they can be bothered. I don't think they really know what they're doing with it. So that's not gonna happen. Um, the grill, did get repaired, but I had to get a mobile guy out to uh, assist with that. Prestige Auto Works, absolutely fantastic. Um, does way more complex stuff than uh, replacing panels. He actually regassed the aircon as well, which was another job I got Mercedes-Benz Chelsea to do. They never did it. Um, cut long story short, they originally booked me in, and then when I turned up, they said I didn't have a booking, so I took the day off work, um, drove into London um, to take my car in for a service, and I wasted a day. And then the second time round, I don't think they did the job. I don't know, it was a while ago now. They completely messed me around. I would absolutely go completely out of my way to avoid them ever again. Uh, they were utterly, utterly hopeless. The staff in there are lovely, but the whole process was absolutely useless. It's broken, and if you want your time wasted, head over there because they will do a really, really good job of that. I feel bad being rude, um, but I did have my time completely wasted. My time's not completely free. We're all busy. We've all got stuff to do. We've all got a living to earn. And that was a complete mug off. So it's not going back there. It's gonna to go to a specialist from now on. And I think actually specialists are a better place for these uh, slightly older AMG. So that is what I'm going to do. And that is what a number of my friends with uh, SLS and otherwise are doing. The good news is the market seems to be moving on these. Um, they seem to be nudging above 200 grand now, which is fantastic. And overall, I'm very, very happy. The car is still exactly as it was, completely box standard, and I love it. Anyway then, house update. I've now exchanged, after the last video where I told you all about it, I've now exchanged and I actually complete on the Monday coming. That doesn't mean anything to you guys because I don't know when this video is going out, um, but potentially by the time you next see me on the channel, I may well have completed. I may now be a homeowner again. Um, so that's all very exciting. We've got Ianthe heading up the renovation side of things. Um, so she is going to be doing that. If you're in homeware, renovation, uh, or anything in between, do get in touch at home at tgtv.co.uk. If you want to feature on the channel, and she's also going to be running her own channel as well, which I launched in the last video talking about this. So I'll leave the link to her channel to subscribe. It'll be our home together. I'll be on that channel, but it'll be her being the protagonist on that. So there we go. Got two channels, home update, Mercedes-Benz moan, little SLS update. What else have we got? We've got garage update coming. So garage update. I have bought another Porsche, shock. Uh, I've bought... Uh, a Ferrari and I have bought a new daily driver because I don't actually have a petrol daily driver at the moment hence I'm using stupid stuff like this just to razz around in um, it's fun for about two weeks and then you realize that actually a daily driver would be a good idea that's petrol I don't have the real freedom in my electric car that I do have in a petrol car I can't just elope to Manchester for the afternoon. I can't just leave London in the morning and say, I'm going to Manchester, which often my job, sometimes I have to just vamoose off to the other side of the country. And you just can't do it with an electric car. Not unless you want to take two days doing it. So I bought a new daily driver. It is, oh, I don't want to give too much away. It's an Audi. It's an Audi uh, and it's quite spicy. So that is coming to the channel. I'm picking them all up uh, next week after completion, which is quite sensible to do. So that is all coming to the channel. What else can I tell you? Got an update with my 997 GT3 RS. That is still at RPM being rebuilt. 
And as I touched on in the video with that, I brought that video to you with Car Vertical. If you haven't used Car Vertical yet, you absolutely must. You've probably seen Car Vertical at the start of the video, um, but that is an unbelievable service that if you're buying a used car, you definitely need to check out and use first because it will bring up all sorts of hidden nasties, like ob the obvious ones, crash damage, but things like mileage discrepancies, outstanding recalls, outstanding finance. Um, no, I don't think so, mate. Let's give way to the right. Thank you very much. Outstanding finance, changes of ownership, any period spent abroad, you name it, that report is so, so detailed. There's absolutely everything in there. All you need is type your reg plate into the Car Vertical website and it'll pull up that whole report for you, which is really, really interesting. It'll actually show you previous plates that was on your car as well. Um, so I did a deep dive on my RS, although I did tell you all in that video that um, I was pulling the wall over your eyes a little bit. Um, that is a run through. I don't know how many minutes that is. We've got, what, nine minutes there? I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Enough of an update anyway for you all. Uh, I just thought I'd check in really. I haven't been filming as much as I wanted to. Uh, I've been all over the place. I'm off to Geneva and York this week as well. Uh, and today I've actually seen the new house this morning and now I'm off out of London on some unspecified business. So. It's been good, but it's been pretty stressful. I obviously have launched Exton Coaching with my brother, which went phenomenally well. Uh, I could not keep up with uh, the demand for that. I've got very, very limited slots. I'll leave the link below if you wanna go and check that out. But um, I've already got some clients on board. Uh, I sold my initial slots out instantly. I've taken on some clients. Basically, the way it works, we do a 15 minute discovery call. I chat to people, I work out what they're about, what they're doing, what they want to do, what's the gap between what they're doing and where they want to be, uh, and try and work on an action plan with them going forward, and then we do hourly slots after that. So um, I had a day the other day of discovery calls, and I've ended up with some amazing clients off the back of it. So I don't take everyone on after the discovery call, it's not just a case of do 15 minutes with me, and then you'll be a mentor client going forward. It is more about me getting to know you, you getting to know me, and me working out whether or not we can work together going forward on a plan of action because some people are so early in their journey that I can't really do much with them other than just give them more vague advice. I wanna be able to get in and really add value. So um, I don't take everyone on, uh, but those discovery calls are open to everyone to get involved, have a little chat, uh, and then see if we can work together going forward. So uh, Exton Coaching has blown up. It's absolutely blown up. Um, I wish I had more time to see more people, but at the moment I've got kind of a limited amount of slots and I want to be able to just dedicate as much time to each person, as much headspace to each person as possible. So um, I will leave the link below for that. There will be slots coming up and I will ping out emails to those that have um, joined up. So do put your details in. I'll ping out notifications when there are slots coming up and um, who knows, I'll be chatting to some of you very, very soon. Really enjoying that though, that's amazing. What else am I been up to? Intellipost has gone crazy. Um, we've put, I think, a thousand of them in the ground now, and it's going absolutely bonkers. Storage is returning as part of that business. Classic giveaways is going absolutely potty. I think at the time I'm filming this, we've got a 997 Carrera 4S with Aero Kit. It looks like a GT3, it's absolutely mental. Uh, factory Aero Kit, hen's teeth car. Grail Watch Club is going absolutely bonkers as well. Uh, can't keep up with that. We've got a silver Tudor Black Bay at the point at which I'm filming this, um, which pretty much half sold out almost instantly. Uh, we've got a couple of days left on that one. Uh, what else am I doing? Couple of secret little projects behind the scenes, which I can't really reveal. Uh, and I'm about to kick off with uh, Velo on the ground again this year, going to all sorts of uh, exciting events around the world, which you all know about, which I can't really mention due to legal reasons. What else, what else, what else, what else? I've been filming some watch talk stuff in the background, so that's gonna be coming back pretty soon at some point, potentially, possibly. Got some cool stuff, some watch brands planned. Um, I've been doing a lot more watch content on the channel, uh, particularly with Watches and Wonders that's just happened, uh, or is happening right now at the point I'm filming this, and I'm going to join on Friday, uh, doing some really cool stuff with Roger Dubuis out there, so you may well have seen that. Uh, by the time this goes out, I'm off to see all sorts of brands out there. Should be good. I wanted to go on Monday, but I needed to be in the country. So that's that. Also a shout out to those that took advantage of my Daytona John Mayer green dial tip. Uh, I said they were gonna be discontinued and to go and buy one for 60 grand. If you did that, 
you're probably going to be uh, 30 to 40 grand up minimum within three days. So well done. A few of you went and bought them and a few of you have quids in. So yeah, you owe me a drink. Oh, what else? What else is there to tell you other than since the last time I spoke to you? I, my brain at the moment is everywhere. I don't know if you've been able to keep up with my waffle in this video. My brain is crush with the, the stress of the new house and all sorts of other bits going on behind the scenes I've really been uh, been under it I'm feeling quite a lot on my shoulders at the moment but wouldn't have it any other way for now I'm gonna love you and leave you and stop waffling thanks very much for uh, allowing me to have this therapy session and getting everything off my chest I will see you all very very soon everything I mentioned will be below so go and check that out and particularly today's sponsor which is Car Vertical a very useful very helpful and actually an essential service when you're buying your next car ciao for now bye